Please raise your hands if you know this fairy tale. Thank you. So this is a very popular fairy tale, Snow White. In this fairy tale, a stepmother of a Snow White wants to get rid of her stepdaughter due to one feeling, which we call like envy or jealousy. Since our childhood, showing the story as an example, we were told that this emotion is a very bad one. So we should abandon for ourselves to feel it. Well, 11 years ago, on the 2nd of September, for the first time, I went to school. At that time, I didn't like studying. Lessons seemed to me very boring and I didn't have any will to absorb any sort of knowledge. I remember that exactly two weeks passed. Only after 14 days, my option changed totally. Because the stars of our class appeared. So those five so-called stars were the girls with the highest marks who were really loved by our teachers and almost everybody among first grades had a wish to become a friend of theirs. Being honest, I started envy. The feeling of anxiety to stay in the background while competing with those girls didn't give me opportunity to sleep well at night. And thus, being just a six-year-old girl, I used to study till midnight when I unconsciously used to fall asleep. Especially after three months when one of those girls was living to another city, our teacher cried. She cried for losing one of her talented students. And at that moment, I promised myself to become so successful academically that this exact teacher will cry for me as well. <laughs> and you know it happened. After four years, I have become the best pupil while graduating for primary school, fourth grade. And I saw the tears in the eyes of my teacher. The moment she whispered to my ears that she's proud of having such people like me. I thought that dreams can come true whenever you have a motivation to implement them. But what was the real motivating factor for me to move, to move forward the goal I've set out? Was it really the feeling of envy? In our conceptions, this feeling is used to be accepted as a negative one. We didn't criticize people who have this feeling. Because we think that they all the time insult the ones who they end with the words. But actually, this feeling is so powerful that at times it can make a person push up their dreams into reality in a much shorter period. This is what makes up people stand up from a cozy sofa and move forward the dream they have set up. Then still, why do we have a strong notion that envy is a nasty feeling? Well, trying to give a proper response to this question, I would say that it is a stereotype that this feeling is a bad one. We should accept the fact that as a human being, we all can be happy, frightened, scared, worried, disappointed, or even envy. We all feel the feelings whether they are good ones or contradicted ones. So there is nothing wrong if you feel some feelings which we call like bad ones. The most important thing is, is not what's going on inside of us, what kind of feelings we have, what, how, but how we do react towards them, how we show them by our actions. That is what really makes a sense. Use your emotions to do something good for yourself as a matter of motivation so as to reach your goals, so as to be the best version of yourself than caring about others' fortune. Thank you.